The 2015-16 basketball season saw strides for both programs. There were individual accomplishments. The emergence of young stars for the future. And as one team forged its identity, the other returned to the big dance. This week on USF Basketball Run with the Bulls, March Madness. This is a big stage, bright lights, big crowd. This is the best student section I have seen. They are representing. Other three. Monster two-handed dunk over the entire building. Yes, come all the way back. Four, three. Oh, this is a good South Florida team. Hey, I'm Courtney Williams. And I'm Alicia Jenkins. And we're going to give you a brief tour of the movements. This is the lobby. The Muma Center is an amazing place. Bam and Les Muma are incredible people. They've made dreams come true for, for a lot of our young people here. The building that we're in every day, the Muma Center, how, how great the technology is, how our own practice gym, how we can go to 24 hours is incredible to me. So I think that's the best part. This is our side of the gym, the women's side. Follow us. Come on. This is the gym. This is where we're at every day, putting in work, getting better. This is where we sweat and we run. <laughs> right. <laughs> they just did this. It's like brand new, so I'm glad I was here for it. Oh, we work hard. We push each other. A lot of dedication. Uh, mentally, though, I feel like the physical aspect is tough, but I feel like if, you, if you're tough mentally, you'll be all right. This is the weight room. So we get big. We get stronger. Get stronger. So we can move people out the way. We can move bodies. <laughs> right. You don't really have mandatory workouts in high school. I don't recall having one, honestly. Like, we didn't have to go to the weight room, but here in college, it's, it's mandatory to get in the weight room, to condition, lift weights. I think here, it's like you you know why you lift in the weights, you know what you're working on. Like, okay, I gotta get stronger here, I gotta get stronger here to be able to do this and that on the court. This is our locker room. Yes. Well, that's our unfinished business. This our... I tap this every day. This is our locker room. Everyone's pictures up here. That's my locker right here. When we're done practicing, we put it on our loop and we throw it in here. So yeah, the Rocky the Laundry Man, right here. And this is our film room. I sit up there <laughs> in the back. And this is my seat right in the middle. This is where we scout other teams. We basically scout the players and who we have to watch out for on other team. And we also watch film of ourselves so we can make mm -hmm. corrections on what we did wrong. Up here are our coaches' offices. On the left side is the women's basketball, and on the right side is the men's basketball. Yep. Say hey, Coach O. Go Bulls. Every time down should be something different on a dribble drive. Well, I think the basketball student athletes on this campus are blessed. We have an incredible facility, uh, thanks to the Muma family and everything they've done. The renovated Sun Dome, which is an incredible place to play. But you're right, they're right in the middle of where they go to school every day. So it's an incredible opportunity for them to fulfill their dreams. Me being raised, I never really seen anything like this until I came here. I guess one of the top of the line facilities in my eyes. I see that people joined in to support the program and built this incredible facility. And a facility that's second to none. You can see why we can be special here. And that's what USF is. That's what we aspire to be. Great. And that facility really leads the way. This is the famous coach, Jose Fernandez. Yes. And, the, and the favorite gummy bear. <laughs> gummy bear queen. Thanks for visiting the Muma Center and being part of our USF basketball family. Go Bulls. Go Bulls. Go Bulls. USF basketball, Run with the Bulls, is brought to you by Canes Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Canes, quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. And by Tampa General Hospital, trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. 
They do have a freshman point guard, Jamal McMurray. Leading freshman scorer in the American Conference. Top five overall. Jamal McMurray is outstanding at creating his own look. Three to shoot. Great defense by Brown. McMurray to take him down. My name is Jamal McMurray. I'm from Kansas. McMurray, a deep three. Oh, from the F, Jamal McMurray, the freshman. McMurray, the finger wow. roll. How about that? <laughs> he is feeling oh, it tonight. That's such a big shot for the freshman. Three-star recruits coming out of Topeka, Kansas. This is a young fella that wants to learn. McMurray just gets better and better as his freshman season continues. And he's growing, he's getting more confident. His upside is, is scary. He's gonna take it himself, five on the shot clock, fire straight on, oh, again he did it! He's got Ronnie Johnson on him, couple crossover dribbles. He's gonna fire a leaner, got foul, count it! Dynamite comes in small packages. I kind of fit their description of how they want us to play as far as if you got the shot, take it. Is that a quick release or what? Jamal, crossover, crossover again, stops the pop. And if you've not seen Jamal McMurray, you're in for a treat. Jamal McMurray can end the trap with a long-range three. There's college range, there's NBA range, and then there is Jamal McMurray range. McMurray just gets better and better as his freshman season continues. I think he's going to knock down a bunch of open shots and help us extend our leads. That team's going to be a key players for us. Jamal McMurray is on fire. This is what I gotta do. Ball is life is really what I go by. I just wanna go out there and show people that South Florida is about to be a contender. McMurray knocking down the triple. I say it's an honor to be a bull because no, everybody doesn't get this opportunity. So when you do get it, take advantage of it. Down low to Cousins. <laughs> Cousins baseline, and he's been able to do everything here tonight, the senior. It's been a lot because they give me the opportunity to play the one where nobody else gave me the opportunity. Here's a steal, Maria. Off to the races and the finish as well. Off the glass. If Coach O believes in you, he's going to give you the opportunity. There's no doubt that this is a, a place where you can come and improve and take your talents to the next level. Nunez starts, stops. Oh, and a two-hand flush. <laughs> and Angel Nunez rises up and flushes. I feel great to be a bull. Go Bulls. Senior day is always special. A time to reflect on the past and plan for the future. This year's Bulls senior class is a true melting pot. Transfers, players from Florida, from out of state, from out of country, all attracted to USF for the opportunities the university provides on and off the court, including a final home game against East Carolina. All right, guys, it's Wednesday night hoops here in Tampa, East Carolina, South Florida with the American Conference winding down. Two teams both kind of building for the future. You've seen flashes in the last few weeks of these two with the American tournament looming in USF, a team that can dominate on the glass. Offensive rebound swatted away by Angel Nunez. Talk about a senior on senior <laughs> night. USF, one of the better shot blocking teams in the league. Oh, Jaleel oh, Cousins. That helps. Senior Trey Bryant got his first career start as the Bulls were looking to add to the season's win total. A total that included an earlier victory over the Pirates. But East Carolina had revenge for that one in their mindset. South Florida hey, wins over a good Houston team and a Memphis team that nobody can still figure out. <laughs> Jamal McMurray, a freshman. 50 finish with the right hand for the freshman. Top scores, not only in the conference, but in the country. Something to build on for next year. You know, during the season, you have your your challenges and your obstacles, and uh, I'm so proud of our guys as they continue to push through, and, and we took on the, the mentality of, all right, we, we don't have any excuses. We just That means another opportunity for someone else to step up, and that's kind of the approach that we've taken, uh, just continue to, to, to work and, and fight. And it was evident in the American tournament's opening game, a rematch against East Carolina. The Bulls started with a little chip on their shoulder, wanting to prove they were not the team that had lost on senior night wanting to prove they could advance, and most of all, wanting to prove 
they had improved. Jim Gary tries to power it up inside. Cousins flat-footed, got a piece of it, and then plucked the rebound. Perry gets the layup. Nice pass from Bodeway. A 6 nothing run. South Florida going to their strength. Very physically imposing inside. Great dish inside in the reverse by Nunez. Lob to Perry. First lead of the ball game for the Bulls. Knowing that East Carolina, their guard play is really long and tall, and so we wanted to play on the back side of the defense. We had an advantage with, the, with our length in, in Angel and Jaleel and Chris Berry and Ruben, and I thought we did a great job of not settling. I think we might have taken too many threes, but we were able to capitalize on the missed opportunities. Coach Orlando Antigua had his team creating their own opportunities with second effort and rebounding playing as a team and not for individual points. Mitch Murray had the shot, passed on it, then got a good pass to Bodeway, and Bodeway laid it in. I'll tell you what, Mike, that was an excellent example of good point guard play. Yes, sir. Steal. Steal by Murillo, and he'll lay it in. This is an opportunity. You win four games, you're in the NCAA tournament. Kids love that stuff. The drama of one and done. For one of these two teams, it would be the end of their season. And for the seniors, the end of their college careers, the South Florida lead dwindled. It was time to play Bulls basketball or go home. McMurray, oh, good catch by Cousins. And then he penetrates. That must be from playing one-on-one -on -one against Big Brother. Against his brother, that's right. Ooh. South Florida now with the edge in the paint. Nunez has got that high-arching standstill shot to lead to four. Nunez with a tip off McMurray's miss. Hey, it looks so easy. An opportunity for Angel Nunez and his fellow seniors to showcase their talents. Not so much a passing of the torch, but leading by example. The rewards of hard work. We approach it one day at a time and, and try to give our best effort, play collectively as a team, fight for one another, and then see where that leads us. It led them to another postseason tournament game against the American Conference leader. Another chance for the star freshman to shine. Another chance for the local son to represent his hometown team. Another chance to build on a program that has the arrow pointed up in year two of the Coach Antigua era. Already building for year three. This segment of USF Basketball Run with the Bulls is brought to you by Kane's Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Kane's quality, so good, it's guaranteed for life. March, the magical basketball month, and one that has been extra special for the South Florida Bulls who unite regularly with the approach of spring. The crowd is louder, the TV lights brighter. The second seeded Bulls got off to a great start. The Conference Scholar Athlete of the Year, Courtney Williams outscored SMU herself in the first half with 24 points. Yeah, I was definitely feeling it. My first shots went in. Coach told my teammates to keep looking for me, so uh, I just kept shooting. When the ball's going in the basket in that first half, for her to continue to get other guys involved, that just, that's, that's just uh, her growing and maturing as a basketball player. That was good to see. The floor spreads more when once my teammates start knocking down shots. And I like to get my teammates involved. It, get, it gets me hyped. It gets everyone on the bench hyped. Like, everyone wants to see everyone else do great. Williams would set a tournament record with 29 points and the comfortable lead she helped build allowed Coach Jose Fernandez to play a lot of his bench in the second half. And that bench contributed. The Bulls were building experience, not just for the future, but for this year's postseason run. And they did it without injured conference freshman of the year, Kitty Aloxa. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow brought on Temple. The stakes higher. The atmosphere more amped up the deeper the Bulls ran in the tournament. The two teams had split in the regular season. The tiebreaker would lead to the conference championship game. The conference's sixth player of the year, Shalithia Stringfield, was on her way to her first career double-double. And USF needed her in a game that would be tied eight times with eight different lead changes. Well, Williams 
passed up a chance to get a jumper instead. Got inside to Jenkins, whose second effort pays off. Underneath, Jesperson gets it up and in. She is from Denver. Springfield taking it right to it. Right in the right place at the right time. Jenkins with the finish, and after a South Florida flourish, Temple takes a timeout. Right now, South Florida winning that battle. Temple is not getting back and keeping them in front. Caught the Rams just a minute of time. Her first basket. Williams had a quiet first half, but would explode in the second. It was easy to stay calm amidst the postseason storm with an experienced coach like Jose Fernandez leading. The Bulls actually found themselves trailing, but patiently worked for their breaks. They dominated the glass, and before long, Courtney Williams got hot, scoring 20 second half points. Got six ties, seven lead changes. Courtney Williams. Just need a little bit of space. Williams, good defense to knock the ball away. She leads their team in blocks. Boom, and air ball to put Williams. Courtney Williams able to sneak in there and get the putback. Herrera, no place to go, but Stringfield came in to uh, kind of bail everybody out. USF was too much for Temple down the stretch. They owned the fourth quarter. And the final score camouflaged what a tight battle it had been, sending the Bulls back to the title game for the second straight season. My goodness, Courtney Williams. USF ends the game on a 33-9 run. They win it 64-46. to it, it happened on the defensive end, how we defended. Um, I thought Jenkins did a great job on the glass. Shalithia Stringfield uh, rebounding perimeter-wise like she did. Courtney got into some foul trouble early, but second half, we were able to get her the ball in some good spaces, and she made shots. Play for one another. Like, let's go. We ready. I mean, just the overall, we're going to be hype, but we got to maintain our hype, like, stay focused throughout, basically. Thank you. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. This time, tomorrow had the ladies off to face the number one team in the country for the third time this season. That's the kind of competition the American Athletic Conference provides. Increase all the hype another notch, throw in a national TV audience, and it's quite the backdrop as the Bulls go after their first tournament championship. For South Florida, they have one of the most dynamic players in the country, Courtney Williams, averaging over 22 points a game. There's Courtney Williams with the ball in her hand, leading the conference in scoring. Takes it up and in, and that's what she can do. Jose Fernandez in his 16th year has done a terrific job with the Bulls. He's taken into three NCAA tournaments, including last year. You think really a good coach. I think he's a great coach. He's done a really nice job building the roster. Jenkins with a getting the bank three. Jenkins is terrific. She is a, the top rebounder in this league, just under 12 per game. Eddie Lou Samuelson couldn't handle it. Good pass to Ferrara. He finishes. Up by two, Stringfield. Stuart close, and Stringfield was able to float it over there. That's a couple of tough shots she hit. Off the screen, locks up their best three-point shooter. That's two banks. That's they two have. banks. They've been practicing those. As with their last match, the Bulls had the early lead. In fact, they are the only team all season to hold the lead at halftime against the Huskies. There was no shortage of scrapping this time around, but the advantage would slowly tip to UConn. You know, I think it's significant to note that while Connecticut has beaten South Florida twice uh, so far this year, neither time did South Florida have their full lineup. This was Kitty Aloxa's first game back, and while the Bulls were finally all available to play, they were not 100%. It's not the end of March Madness, but rather just the beginning. USF is used to being invited to play after their conference battles have quieted, and that continues this year. For the 12th time in 16 seasons, Coach Fernandez's team is going to a postseason tournament. Their fourth time to the NCAAs and all the way to Los Angeles, the reward for hard work and success. I'm Courtney Williams. I'm from Folkestone, Georgia. I'm a shooting guard, and I'm a senior this year. Oh, yeah, Coach always told me, 
they they gonna know you gonna score. They know you can score. Now you gotta find out. If, they gotta find out if you a winner now. So we just trying to win games at this point. We gotta win games. Shot clock winding down. Baseline. Step back is good, and that's a heck of a shot by Williams. I think we really I, we really pride ourselves in uh, developing our basketball players, making them better individually so they fit into what we do offensively and defensively. In the games, like, she has a winner mentality, like, she wants to win. And that's why she's such an effective scorer. Here's Jada Payne. Anybody can be a scorer. You got to be a winner. Courtney Williams getting things done early. She can run, she can jump. She, for me, she's the best player I ever play with. And welcome to the SEC AAC Basketball Challenge, and a good one. We have had an array of student athletes go on and play professionally, and we expect Courtney Williams and Alicia Jenkins to get drafted. Bulls 24-15. Springfield backdoor pass to Williams, who's back in, attacks the rack, scooping shot is in. So when she going, we going. Alicia going, we going too. So we feed off of them, and sometimes they feed off of us to keep them going. Williams dumps it down to Stringfield, wide open for the three-pointer, and knocks it down. And you can see Courtney Williams pointing at Stringfield, saying, let's go. I can learn a lot from her because of, of our skills, because everything she has. She's the one I look up to because this is the last year she'll be here. And next year, we won't have Courtney Williams, so we'll have to try to be one as a team. I try to work hard every day now. Like, I, I try not to take days off because I know I have my teammates looking up to me. My mom is, is my number one motivation. My main goal is to make sure my mom don't have to work anymore. But I just want to make it to the Elite Eight Final Four National Championship. It's my last year, but it, it's been a great experience. Like I said, it's molded me into the person that I am today. I'm definitely grateful and thankful for the people that I've been around, the people that have touched my life every day. So it, it's been amazing. USF Basketball Run with the Bulls has been brought to you by Canes Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Canes, quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. And by Tampa General Hospital, trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the best hospital in Tampa Bay by US News and World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in six specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, gastroenterology and GI surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, pulmonology and urology. The best in Tampa Bay, again, and one of the nation's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care.